Hi uh, I'm Jack Greenwood and I'm an artist from the UK and I'm just going to show you a work in progress of a painting that I'm doing at the moment. So this is acrylic on canvas. It's kind of uh, larger than the paintings I usually do and I was just um, doing this for a submission to an open call and it kind of expresses how I was feeling at a certain point when I decided to paint it. The kind of isolation of being an artist and doubting yourself. So a lot of the paintings on the wall are kind of memories and but some of them are symbolic. Like this little painting up here of the hands of feet. That was a photo I took when I just finished gardening and all my hands of feet were black because the soil kind of comes through your boots and your socks when I used to work as a gardener that's a little painting of me and little Nora who passed away who was our first rescue dog you've got some kind of panettone tins in there that I use to keep my brushes and other stuff in that's Oma, our little rescue dog at the moment and she's kind of sensed that there's something outside the window and outside the window is a seraphim which was inspired by seeing carvings on the top of Wells Cathedral this is a little caravan we stayed at in Wales that's my other half Bella who was in I can't remember whether that's the National Gallery or the National Portrait Gallery Cafe in I can't remember 2020, just before the pandemic, when we didn't know the pandemic was about to happen. And then I kind of like this version of me, which is like anyone that knows me would be able to tell it's me, but it's, it's distorted and out of proportion and stuff. But I think it's kind of got the essence of me. Then this is. Jason King, the filmmaker, who's made the film about my other series of paintings, and it doesn't look like him yet, but it's, it will do. And that's kind of symbolising where I'm at now um, as an artist. That a film's about to come out about my work, and the kind of uncertainty of what will happen with that. That's a painting of Nami, my cat, laying on top of me before work when I was decorating. And that's I still need to work on a lot of these yet because that's like just the sketch of the painting at the moment. But Naomi, <clears throat> Naomi was a cat that just snuck into our house one day and then it came up and laid on top of me. And we found out from the neighbours that the previous owners had moved and just left him so then he became our cat and we took him to the vet and got him microchipped and stuff and then he was with us for a long time but sadly he's passed away now. Then there's a self-portrait on the easel and I like to kind of include objects like this kind of paint rack that will be very particular to this time um, that might not look like anything at the moment but you know a lot of people kind of kind of buy stuff like this and then it, it'll kind of be a sign of the times later on. This is little TV reference if you can guess what that TV program that's from 10 points to you and then a picture of Bella in the garden with Amma so yeah there's still quite a bit long way to go and it's it's taken me a while because it's a bigger painting it's A1 size acrylic on canvas and that's the work so far but I, I really kind of enjoy creating like spaces and then adding all the objects in and kind of creating a feeling of a particular time and like I said this is the kind of feeling of uncertainty of being an artist and the little kind of serif, serif is it serif? Yeah. The kind of angel watching over me, you know, and that's kind of the 
the thing in the back of your mind that says everything's got to be all right you know don't worry and get on with it and it's called the painting's called don't give up okay thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed seeing that painting and we're still doing a crowdfunder for the film for strange and sometimes troubled memories which is a series of paintings i did looking back over my life and the film is a kind of unusual documentary that looks at me telling the stories behind each of the 21 paintings and you can watch a trailer for that here on YouTube and just have a look at the crowdfunder page it's to get the film out to film festivals and stuff and any little amounts appreciated and you can also get a link to see the film like a private supporters only link um, on the crowdfunder page so have a look at that, that they'll be all linked in this video and that's it for today so, thanks. Hope you have a good day. See you later. Bye.